Hi everyone, um, good evening. Tonight's video is going to be something a little different. Um, it's not the most exciting one I'll ever do, but it's pretty important. And that is how to properly package an electric guitar ready for shipping. Um, so it's not well, it's not going to be that interesting, but it's important. Um, I know as a buyer I've been disappointed when stuff's come through damaged um, because the, the seller hasn't taken a few minutes to make sure it arrives safely. So um, yeah, let's go through it. So the one that's going is this uh, PRS S2 single cut standard satin. Um, so the first thing is just to give it one last check over, um, just to make sure that there's no scrapes or dings or damage that you haven't noticed, because this is kind of last chance saloon. Um, the buyer would rather you told them now if there's any undisclosed damage rather than, than them finding it when their parcel arrives. Dust. Dust there, the hanger. Um, looks good. Looks good. Yeah, it's just dusty from lack of use. Um, no damage that I can see. No scratches, no dings. Um, so, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, so, the moral of the story is, whenever you buy a guitar, always keep the packaging somewhere, whether that's in the loft, uh, in the garage, whatever, just keep it around, keep it handy, because the chances are, you are going to sell a guitar at some point in the future. And there's nothing worse than that last minute packing panic. Um, thinking, ah, I've got to pack it up. Um, so yeah, always keep hold of everything. Um, my motto is, if it can't move, it can't break. Um, so anything you can do to stop stuff moving about in transit is going to help the end user. So what I've done here, I've just chopped up a bit of polystyrene, put a hole in the middle, and I'm just going to slip that over the selector switch. And I am also just going to make a little fretboard cover, just out of some thick card. I'm just going to pop that between the fretboard and the strings just so the, the strings aren't being pressed down onto the uh, onto the frets for sort of 24 to 72 hours. Um, it's unlikely that strings will get dented in that way, but why risk it when it's a nice easy fix? Just to pop a bit of thick card or thin plastic there. Just to, um, just to act as a barrier. Um, now, it's in concert pitch. Um, one of the big myths of the guitar world is that you have to detune a guitar to ship it. That's nonsense. Um, I've had it direct from countless, well not countless, about four different dealers and from one guy who actually helps make high-end electric guitars that you should ship your guitar at concert pitch or you know near as damn it. So uh, here this refers back to, to me saying never throw any packaging away just one of those little condoms um, that guitars come shipped in. It's not going to offer a lot of protection um, but it's just the first layer of protection um, and we're going to be doing a few. Um, 
So yeah, lock comes on. And then I'm just going to fold that up at the end. Take it down. What I'm going to do next is just put a layer of bubble wrap and hold the tie up. Put a layer of bubble wrap around most of the guitar because that doesn't quite reach. Um, but it will when we fold it over. Bubble wrap. Take it down. So, as well as just adding a little bit of impact protection, um, this means you don't have to take anything to the guitar itself because um, nothing's going to annoy a buyer more than having breaker lamps to sellotape attached to the guitar so if you can take take the tape to bubble wrap or a little condom or whatever um, then all the better First layer of the guitar. Done. Um, scoop bag. Again, check for any rips, tears, any damage that you haven't already told the buyer about. Um, Make sure there's nothing in the pockets of the gig bag. And then, and only then, um, pop the case candy if you've got it. Just into the front pocket of the gig bag. And then zip it up. Um, if there's a trim arm, which there isn't on this guitar, I also like to just put a bit of bubble wrap around that, um, just so if there's any pressure put on, on the packaging, um, it's not going to dig into the top of the guitar. So again, this came in a package when I bought guitar, so I'm just going to slip that over the hip stop before it goes in the case. Tells in the case, and we want it nice and snug. So the guitar is in that case, and it's not rattling around, it's not moving, it is exactly what we want. So once it's in the case, uh, I'm going to put another layer of bubble wrap around the case. Again, added impact protection and it will help it to stop moving around in the box. Um, I once bought a wall off, off eBay and the guy literally just sent it in a duvet case. Um, so needless to say, when it arrived it was smashed. It was in a terrible state. Um, but one thing that really like, got alarm bells ringing was that um, parts of the binding were missing. They weren't in the package such as it was, they weren't in the duvet case. Um, so I, I had a horrible feeling that the guy sent it, pure, knowing it was already broken. Um, purely with the intention of claiming back off the insurance. Um, but no, I, I got my money back via PayPal. I got my money back via PayPal and didn't cooperate because it was a joke. Um,
Again, just loosely tape the bubble wrap to itself, not to the case. Um, and that's looking good to go in the box now. Yeah. So, as I say, never throw anything away. Um, I mean, if you haven't got a guitar box handy, you can make your own out of um, sort of crisp boxes uh, or anything like that that you can get from your local shop and then we go to free and just a bit of origami style. You can um, make your own box that way. Uh, so again, this was just in the bottom of this box, so I'm going to fit. So it's just there to fix the bottom of the guitar. So we'll pop that in there. And stand up. And so we can slide the guitar into the box. So that's already quite snug, which is what we want. Um, and then I'm just going to use some of this other Amazon packing. Some of this other Amazon packaging. Uh, just to go either side of the guitar. Another point to note is that most couriers will not ensure the outer packaging of not just guitars but anything really. Um, so if you've got a guitar with a gold hard case, you still need to box it up um, because if it's not boxed up, the case won't be insured. If it is boxed up, the box then becomes the outer packaging and uh, the case is insured. So just a top tip there. Um, okay, so that's in there. That is not moving. Uh, just a, a little holdy bit of tape now. Just a little bit shut for a second. So if you can if when you jiggle the box you can feel the guitar jiggling around, um, you need to get some more packing in there. Uh, remember, if it can't move, it can't break. That is the mantra. Um, so just check in the box for any holes or any shipping labels. Uh, we've got a shipping label here in the front. So we're going to cover that over. And there's a couple of, couple of tears in the box as well, so we'll just cover those over as well. Uh, fragile tape. It's strong and it says fragile on it, so it's just as good. Um, double whammy type effect. So the shipping label is where I want to seal the box anyway, so that's handy. I'm just going to run the tape around the box is sealed. I'm trying not to take my microphone down at the same time. Uh, if anybody enjoys my videos, um, just remember I am on Patreon, and if anybody wants to donate to help me buy a wireless lapel mic, <laughs> I would be extremely grateful. Because uh, having wires dangling everywhere is a pain in the bum. Okay, I have lost my scissors. I had them. You all watched me. You all watched me cut that. 
old school. Excuse me. That's the top of the box sealed. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so we've got a little Places just so they can't be missed. Okay, looks good. So, in terms of postage, um, I use a website called Parcel Hero. Um, it allows you to put in the size of your package, <laughs> you're getting, um, and then compare. Who's the cheapest? And there's you know uh, various options for if you've got access to printer or not. If you are happy to drop it off at a depot or a post office, or if you want to collect it. Um, but the one thing to watch for is you go on, you pick, you pick the cheapest option, um, but then when you add on to the add on the insurance, it may not be the cheapest option any longer. Um, so you always make sure just to just to check a couple of them out and find the one that's the uh, that's the cheapest with insurance added. I would never ever ever send a guitar without insurance. And a bit more fragile tape. What I'm also doing with this fragile tape is I'm putting it all in the same direction uh, which is the same direction as the text on the shipping label so hopefully the guy's carrying it in the mode that the parcel has to be that way up and just to confirm that I'm going to write this way So that's it. That's all ready to drop in at the post office in the morning. Um, and it should be at its new home by, by Saturday or Monday at the very latest. Um, I, hope, I hope it's been useful anyway. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.